Welcome back. Let's play some more 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. It's Friday. Sun's up. Good luck. The AC's working. Let's play something fun. Ooh, our opponent's on a winning streak. Should this motivate me or demotivate me? I don't know. A minute ago, I was considering or saying, you know, I want to play Central Fall Rook. But seeing this winning streak, I think I want to play this instead. Something, I don't know. See, this creates a hole over there. That could be particularly dangerous for them. Um, hmm. All right. Well, let's hear it. What's the plan? They're playing Central Falrook. Interesting. Um, well, let's spend one move getting the king out of here. And... Uh... Yeah, this is wild. Can't say I expected that. Should I have expected it? Maybe. I mean, I guess I didn't exactly prevent it from happening. Um, Alright, let's try to defend this. If they give me another move, my silver moves up and we have an exciting game. They did not give me a spare move. Um, I still feel like trying this way. Let's force things. This is safe, right? Now, my king needs to move over for this to actually be safe. Um, or I need to move my bishop somewhere. don't know. Okay, that's safe, right? Totally, completely safe. Until something bad happens. Um, yes, yeah, so they protect the bishop's head here. Um, I could push this. Bishop takes is technically legal there. Um... Hmm. A while ago I was considering this silver advancement, and this looked risky and still is. It's much too risky. That ain't happening. Here, let's protect my silver's head. Just continue to mount increasing tension in the center while the opponent does something. Um... But yeah, I think the opponent lacks... Uh, well, well, their king's in the center, and it can't stay there forever. So they've built this enormous attack that's not going anywhere. Um, This is my attempt to ensnare a rook. It's not... I mean, it is a particularly no, feeble no. attempt. Um, yes, it's a feeble attempt, or it's not a great attempt, but it's something. Oh, they're going to use this to hit my bishop again. I'll check that out. Um, I could trap my silver by moving it up. 
we could do that. All right, fine. Bring your silver, see if I care. I start to care. Um, yeah, this looks fun, right? They retreat. I retreat. Unless I advance. Um... can't believe they did that. I mean, they did, but still, that's pretty aggressive, man. Um, so what's next? I mean, I am still threatening to push this pawn, drop another pawn beyond, and other stuff. My bishop will find a haven somewhere. Alright, they cut my rook off. Um, so I defend my bishop. And cut the diagonal. All right. Um, sure, let's keep this diagonal closed and see what they're up to. Oh, that is check, isn't it? Go from that's that's concerning. All right, fine. You get your check. I get to run. And then bemoan my lack of defense, which is entirely my fault. Um, yeah. Well, I wanted to do something crazy on Friday, and I ultimately got there, but bishop takes instead of pawn takes could have prevented this fiasco. I was afraid they'd drop a silver here and I'd be stuck for trying to find a good move, but this... And maybe I was right, but I doubt it. I'm usually wrong. When you're given an infinite number of multiple choice questions, eventually you're going to get one wrong. Unless you know all the answers. Um... I guess it's my turn to return this favor. So this rook is floating. I can't go there either because silver takes. I mean, it could go here, but then they could only take either one of these two pieces and not both. Maybe it was their plan to make this exchange, but if that's their plan... All right. Rook, king takes is dangerous. Um... How dangerous? I don't know. Retreating looks safe, but is it safe? We're walking right onto a diagonal where their bishop is placed. I just don't know what this... how to assess danger here. They have other pawns in hand. Um... Yeah, I need to run. An early escape of the king is worth eight moves. Um, I don't know if it's always worth eight, but this one might be. Whereas if I involve my king in taking this, they'll keep checking me over and over. Um... Hmm. 
How do I attack this king? Um, I want to hit this gold, too. Wouldn't that be nice? Something. I think that actually helps solidify rather than weaken my position to do this. Even though there's the same number of hanging pieces before and after the move. Um, Hopefully that's not too heavy of an attack. He thought this king move was this king retreat is worth twenty moves. Could be. Or you're saying just in general. You just make up a number and ah, that sounds right. I mean somebody has to guess a number somewhere. And everybody else goes along with it or refutes it. Um, yeah, this looks fun. Show me how dangerous this is. So I'm threatening silver takes. I guess gold could move up, but then they have a weakness back here, but then they can drop a pawn to defend the weakness. Anyway, I don't think they're in a mood to play defense at the moment. That doesn't look like a defensive move. <sighs> oh, that's right. Pieces promote when they get this far up the board. Let's not forget about that special rule. Oh, I didn't first see that. Um, check, takes, takes, takes. Yeah. Where's my mate? Check, tick, tick, tick. Gold drop. No. Oh, I have another rook, don't I? There's a, so much on this board. <sighs> what the hell is going on? Um, Yeah, I don't see this through to the end. This is extremely messy.
20秒あ、ah, good game damn decent attempt on my part oh well Better luck next time. That rook protecting my knight was a lost move. Good luck. The hell is that? Have I missed something? Okay, they're getting a pawn. Sure. They really want my silver. Um, interesting. That blocks all of their pieces. It's legal. All right, over here we go. I could have missed something critical here. I don't see what I missed. That's ambitious. Oh, wait, now that threatens to promote a pawn here. That's their plan. That's That loses just as much material as if they drop there directly, which they didn't do. But both moves still lose material. Um, but I guess they're threatening to promote. I take, they take back. And at some point they drop a fork here. Is the plan. Um, I'm going to win another piece out of this fork, and then I'm just going to attack with Reckless Abandon like we usually do. Uh.
so yeah they do get to drop this gold and win material here and we accept that If I take, do I promote? I don't think so. Okay. Where's my brilliant attacking move? There it is. Found it. Maybe. Maybe not. It looks cool. I mean, this is kind of stealing their idea where they dropped a pawn on the center file and crazy stuff happened, right? So now we're going to drop a pawn on the center file and crazy stuff's going to happen. Right next to their king. If silver takes, bishop drop forks the rook and silver. Um, my rook is still defending my king, even though it's a great distance away. At some point, I would like to use the bishop to attack and defend at the same time, but um, things are what they are. It's not clear how the bishop could be useful. Keep out. If you're not going to let me attack, I'm not going to let you attack. That's how that works, right? Probably not, but let's pretend. Oh, also, I could use a knight to hit this. Hmm. Hmm. Danger, danger. Danger everywhere. Um, screw it. How dangerous can this actually be? Let's find out. So this silver is protecting me from pushing here, or protecting against my forward advance. Now I have a gold that I can drop there directly. This bishop is misplaced. Um, hmm. uh, if I try to do something tricky, I get in trouble. 
So let's not. Let's just attack, right? The king's over here. The rook's over there. These targets aren't too far away. I'm out of pawns. How did that happen? I thought I had another pawn. Screw it. Let's try this. It seems ill-advised, but... What isn't? Sure. Okay. This isn't what I dreamed of. But maybe I'll just come to accept it. Plus, we're going to be getting a bishop soon, probably. Um... I question if they're really going to retreat this gold. Would they dare? They could. Um... Yeah. Let's take a bishop. So this is actually a target. If I take this, they'll be threatening to push here. Um, interesting. No subtlety in that move, unfortunately. I was really hoping for a subtle moment to drop that and just completely pierce everything. Alas, there is no subtlety here. Ippun. Wow. 
forward. Ever forward. That king is within reach. Which means I'm not going to get it, doesn't it? Um, hmm. What a complicated mess. Sanjibio. Oh, I just gave them the pieces they need to mate. If they're paying more attention than I am. We'll see if they find it. They're gonna find it. Maybe. Um. Nijibio. Oh, I gave away my only defensive piece. Check that out. Yeah, there's... I have no way to defend this position. Well, actually, wait. Hang on. Frantic as this is, let's try it. Nah, this doesn't mate. My everything is hanging. They probably have made like five different ways here. This, I can't win. <laughs> Their king escapes. He just moves up the board. There's nothing. Thanks for the game. Alright. For fun, let's get another proper up, shall we? One more. Don't be afraid to sacrifice Rook or Bishop. Just also don't make mistakes. Okay, come on. Here we go. Demon killer. Alright. That sounds like an opening I can lose to. Um... I gave them something to think about here. There we go. <laughs> okay. It's happening. Alright. They're doing the opening. Alright. Fine. I'm gonna cut out the knight here. Normally you're supposed to move this silver out. I'm going to tuck my king over this way, just to make things exciting. Let's push this one, too. Hey, look, it's like reverse something, where I'm playing my silver up on the other side of the board. That's a strat, right? Let's bring the bishop back, or up here, and prepare to retreat it. I think we've... Alright, my king's gonna go over here, away from this rook, away from this bishop. Can we tell that I'm tilting? 
Have I made it obvious enough? Do I need to try harder? I guess I didn't need to move this immediately. Um, eh. Here goes nothing. So then finally this uh, is built up. Hmm, so... Oh! For a second there, I could have pushed the center pawn, couldn't I? I should pay more attention. I was just so excited about pushing this, and then... Whatever this is. Um... What's going to defend this, actually? Oh, this pawn is loose. I should be careful about my own defense here. Um... That's safe, right? Maybe. Hopefully. We both need plans in this position. I don't see how they expand. They could just, like, willy-nilly push things on this right side of the board while I struggle to find a plan. That's one possibility. Um, they could just give me a pawn. Uh, bishop takes or pawn takes? How much do I need a rook? How much do they need a bishop? And also if I do pawn takes, am I not threatening to move the knight up next? Hmm. If I block my bishop, it's quite sad. I can unblock it the next turn. Mm -hmm. They're trying to involve this bishop in their attack. They're going to push this next. Um, I have to keep this. I have to block my bishop for now. It's it is quite sad. Yep, they do make the move that I anticipate. I could take that one too. Um, but then the knight comes up and I can't take the knight. Well, actually I can. Everything's up for grabs here. So if knight takes, we just block the knight. Or block the bishop, rather. And then that's a free knight. Um... They have a pawn in hand. Maybe there was some combination where they like drop the pawn before advancing the knight or something like that, but then my silver covers the square. I don't know. But I guess I'm predicting increasingly large sacrifices until their attack either succeeds or fails. Um, how do they sack another... Okay. Sure. Um, let's keep my generals together, so that means I move the bishop instead. Oh, and that lets in the rook. I'm so good at this game. So, fuck. Uh, we've made it exciting. How do we try to, like, not throw the game harder than this. Um, I 
All right, let's try to activate my rook. They might take my lance. I might just go ahead and promote my rook. And then I'm threatening this lance and the bishop and the king and all that fun stuff. Of course, they could just exchange rooks in this position. They have a fork and, you know, it's not so obvious what happens next. Um, but yeah, I should not have let their rook in. King takes would have been smarter than what I did. Oh well. Yeah, perhaps best is if they go here and hit my silver. I mean, yeah, now they've got three pawns to drop. They could drop them wherever they want to continue an attack. I'm just glad to have activated my rook so it's not sitting back at home all day. Um... But yeah, if the knight steps up... Oh. Wow. Okay, that does hit this pawn. Interesting. Um, I don't seem to have any tricky response to that. I'll just go with a perfectly normal response of, hey, I'll just defend my pawn and try to use my bishop where it's at. Um, then, like, potentially I could drop my rook back here next. I want my rook drop to be as effectual as possible. I just don't know how to... well. Yeah, if I move the knight up and I push the pawns, like the silver's climbing up, the pawn moves up and then takes here and we exchange a ton. But I still haven't used my rook at that point. If I drop the rook here, it protects this gold. Which is probably a better use of a tempo than just hitting a bishop and forcing it to run over and over. Yeah, so they can surround this silver. Um, it's clever. All right, a silver for a silver, then. I'll even throw in a knight to sweeten the deal. If they decline, I might be able to retreat. Wouldn't that be wild? But why would I retreat on Go this? Um, so I activate my bishop. This threatens the silver. This also activates their bishop, which is should be scary. If I have my wits about me, I'd be scared. All right, this um, yeah, that makes sense. Um, they only have pawns in hand. Wait, this blocks their bishop. Hmm. All right, we'll try to hold this together. Maybe I should have taken here. All right, where does this bishop go next? If they retreat the silver, I can drop a pawn. Um, hmm. Also, this gold is under fire. If it retreats, I just take it. 
Maybe I should have done this one first. I don't know. Yeah, no, definitely. I should have done that first. That way, silver takes, bishop takes, something happens, and then I take the silver, which is not defended by a bishop. Instead, we've ended up here. Well, this other way, they would have blocked my rook, and I drop a pawn, and I win a silver, but this aims at the king. I guess both ways are okay. For once, I didn't miss an idea. Am I going to find a checkmate here? I hope so. But at least I found the key idea. Alright. Let's get again. Three fast games today. Alright, well, that was quick. Uh, hope we all enjoyed these. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.